hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be exposing to you how our yoruba women make this medicinal children black soup for newborns for teething and for fever so if you want to know how i made this let's get into the video first ingredient i'll be using here is my nigerian black soup now take note this is not ghana black soup this is nigerian black soup it is made purely from pure palm carne oil and plantain ash or cocoa pot ash now it is different from the normal ghana black soup okay this one is more medicinal and that is why it is used for this particular recipe so this is the real black soap initially from our ancient mother that they used to smoothen the skin it also clears baby rash and napkin rash it's really medicinal and it really works just that it doesn't really like that like the other Ghana black soup uh Igbos call it nchude also something like that so I actually watched a Yoruba woman made this and so I thought to share the recipe with you so that you can see how it's really made I'm not going to be sharing any measurements here I just want to show you how it's made so you can just eye cage and make this so I'm using this Nigerian black soup and then I'm going to be adding a few other ingredients to it here is my sulfur powder I'm adding sulfur powder to this recipe because sulfur has antifungal and antibacterial properties it helps to clear major skin conditions such as eczema rashes bumps acne psoriasis inflammation and redness it is somewhat compulsory in this recipe because it's going to assist the black soup carry out its major function and then i'm going to be adding camwood powder this powder is a natural healing powder that is added to most black soap for children and babies and teens that helps to alleviate eczemas rashes and helps to smoothen the skin it also helps to brighten the skin so in every way it's going to assist the remaining ingredients and this black soap to function very well and then i'm going to be adding my natural honey and this will act as a humectant and also to soften the soap so after this i'm just going to mix this soap by pounding and then i'll be checking the consistency until i get what i want As you can see the consistency is still quite hard although not too hard but i really want it to be softer than this so i'm just going to be adding omiyaru this is herbal water it can also be called soap water it's actually the soap that is gotten from the remains of the black soup during production and it's very safe for use it also helps to smoothen the skin and it has antibacterial and antifungal properties as well so it's a nice diet for your soups I'll just keep adding the omiyaru until I get the consistency I want. This is not measured so don't pour all your omiyaru at once so that you don't you know make the soap too soft or whatever. So when I get the consistency I want, I'll stop adding the omiyaru and my soap is ready. Now this is the black part. If you notice you find out that the soaps they give to newborns for teething and um, for fever and um, for whatever for rashes and all that in the market they are always coming in two forms and two colors so this is one part and this is the black side we're going to be making the other red one after just after this one okay so i'm going to get my container and i'll transfer my soap into my container as you can see this the feel or the texture of this soap is definitely different from the texture of the ghana black soap this is the nigerian the black soup it is not really smooth and it doesn't really ladder like the other one so here is the black one and we are going to be making the red one now but bear in mind that this black one is the is the main soup the other one is just an addition this one is the main soup for that teething and then um, for newborns the the a dayhood baby can use the soap and um for children with rashes and and all that so this is the main one so let's let me get my uh, motor washed and then i'll come back to make the other one in this second one i'll be using the ghana black soap for it this soap is similar to the nigerian black soap we use just that this one is not made with palm canal oil okay it's made with 
every other oil like coconut oil but it's not made with palm kernel oil so i added my ball soups if you do not want to use the ghana black soup you can use only ball soups and then i went in with a teaspoon of sulfur and then my omiya roux and then i'm going to pound this all together to make a smooth paste both recipes are almost the same thing just that the first one was made from nigerian black soup which is the black one and this one is made from either ghana black soups or white ball soups or any other soups but although i do not know the reason why both soup are mixed together for this particular thing but i just wanted to let you know how the recipe is how they made it because i was opportuned to see how a woman from the west made hers and she was actually selling them and then i wanted to actually know and then i was pulled through and i was like okay yeah i'm going to share the recipe with you too so yeah i have my honey so please if you know more about these soups and the combination of the black and the red soap please you can let us know in the comment section so that we can keep learning so just that i wanted to let you know the recipe and how this was made and it's really effective if you try it it's really really effective so the next ingredient i'll be adding here is my coloring powder they call it silly i really don't know the english name whatever it is also very safe and edible they use it in pepper coloring for those of for those people who miss their pepper and they really want to maintain the color so they just use this um, pepper coloring so that's what's responsible for the red coloring of that soup not not like there is anything serious in it okay so the, both recipes are really similar so i'll keep adding my omiyaro until i get my desired co um, consistency and i'll keep adding my coloring powder until i get the desired color So once I got the, the consistency or texture that I wanted, I stopped pounding and then I'm going to transfer this to, into my container. So here we have the red soup and the black soup, both almost containing the same thing. So what they do in the market is to mix both so that when you buy one cup, you have both soups. So I'm going to fill one part of my cup with the black soap and the other part with my red soap. This soap is very nice for newborns. A day old baby can use this. Many people say it cleanses the child very well after birth. Also, if your child has fever or running temperature, this soap is also recommended by those women in the West. And also, if your child is teething and of course we definitely run temperature, this soap is also recommended. Whenever your child has um, rashes or um, napkin rash, napkin bombs, this soap is also recommended because it it is known to heal and treat those conditions. So this soap is very effective and I would want you to give this a try. Well, if you would not give this a try, you can also buy from those women in the local market here in Nigeria. Also, if you have a great idea about this soup and what goes into it that I did not add here, please let us know in the comment section so we all can learn. And also, if this is helpful to you, please subscribe to this channel. Also, help me to like this video. Drop any question down there on the comment section. You can check the description box to see my other black soap videos. I really want to say thank you for stepping by to watch this video. And I really wish to see you in my next videos also. But for now, take care and have a lovely day.